the reality of wrestling. My name is the boat Brad Gilmore, joined by Kirby Carrion. We are just six weeks away from reality of wrestling's The Last Stand, which will feature the Last Stand Rumble. But as we saw at the conclusion of our show last week, Will All Day is in need of a partner. Will he find one? And there you see, we're going to be listening to an exclusive word that Carolina has with our own Mia Friday, the interim Diamonds Division Championship. And there is the television champion, Eric Lockhart. Eric Lockhart has a big contract signing against Izzy James coming up later tonight. And there he is. Will All Damn Day. Day. The Reality Wrestling Champion is getting here to the Walker, Texas Lawyer Arena. Does he have a partner tonight? We are going to find out in our main event. <laughs> you know, I can't stand him, man. I can't stand that little punk. Will all day. You know, the, the thing is this, guys. He has no friends. <laughs> Nobody likes Will all day. Right? Right, Gaspar? Right. Right? Right. <laughs> and tonight is, is virtually guaranteed, man, that we're going to be right back in that picture. Right back in the saddle. You know what I'm talking about, Maddie. You know what I'm talking my about. Title my title back. My title back. Yes, man. <laughs> so look here, guys. Tonight, I need you to go out there and rumble. Rumble like in the jungle. Oh, yeah, man. You ready? Give me oh, some. Give me ready. some. Yeah. Yeah! 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 Han Steele coming in here and making his Reality of Wrestling debut. And uh, let, let me just ask you, Brittany, how smart of an idea is it to make your debut willingly against somebody like Dex Dixon? I mean, Dex the Line Dixon, Kirby is a formidable opponent. If it's not Brad, it's you. <laughs> However, I mean, look at Han Steele. He's, he's got some size on him. He's got some, he looks like a caveman. He looks like he could fight. So, you know, he might be very impressed with this kind of debut. And here comes Dex. The Line Dixon. I'm never gonna get to do this. <laughs> but that's okay. Dex Dixon uh, basically going through a rampage here over the last few weeks at the Reality of Wrestling knocking down anybody that stands across the ring from him. But he may have finally met his match, as we saw just a few weeks ago. Teron Beckham did pretty much what Dex Dixon has been doing. Yes, I mean, and, and Dex came out to, to see that. You know, he's definitely got his eyes on Teron Beckham, but right now he's got to have his eyes on Han Steele here tonight. Definitely don't want to take your eyes off the prize for sure, as maybe just that small distraction could be what completely takes you off your game, and that could completely end the streak, as the battle's wrong, but hold on one second. What? Oh! oh here we go, Teron Beckham returning the favor. I mean, a little taste of his own medicine here. He, he had to have expected this. We see Teron Beckham. The chair is set up right in front of us here at the announce table. Because we're going to have Troy oh. Beckham joining us now. Dex Dixon pushing back Han Steele. The metal made man is uh, bending right now to Dex Dixon's will. As you saw him just get tossed right into the corner. And Dex wasting no time. Oh, oh driving the shoulder right oh. into the stomach of Hans. And oh, look at that. The athleticism. And, oh, oh, my God. Nearly cutting Han Steele in half. He added a little bit of an extra oomph to that shoulder tackle in the corner. Perhaps sending a message to Teron Beckham, who's sitting right here in front of us right now. And look at oh, that. Oh, look at that. Now just exchanging I, I think pleasantries. We'll I say think, pleasantries. Yeah, no, pleasant. Well, that's not pleasant right there. The fists to the face of Dex Dixon. And look at Hans trying to mount some kind of offense. And I told you, it could have just been a moment of taking his eyes off the prize. But Dex Dixon runs right through Hans. And now he's got him up on the shoulders. Oh, no. We and know what's going to happen, Kirby. The Dex Vector connects into the cover. One, two, three. And that's all she wrote. That may be all she wrote for Hans Steele here. But that's not all she wrote for Teron Beckham and Dex Dixon. Oh, oh, he's asking for a microphone here. Tonight, myself, 
that is the line gets it. I made myself available for the last stand. One more. Strong words. Dex the line, Dixon, as Teron Beckham just looks on. And quite frankly, Brittany, I cannot wait for this showdown between these two. Oh, it's gonna tear the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena to the ground. I hope we're ready to, to renovate again. We all know that an accident takes only seconds, but the injuries can last a lifetime. Hi, I'm Jim Walker at Walker, Texas Lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, a truck wreck, or a motorcycle accident, give me a call and I will get you the compensation that you deserve. Call me at 713-552-1117 or visit my website at walkertexaslawyer.com. You'll be glad you did. And why would you call anyone else? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here comes Andrew Jackson, the newly appointed official general manager here of Reality of Wrestling. And quite frankly, I think he's been doing such a great job so far, Brittany. I mean, he's been doing a wonderful, but look at this. The fans love him. The wrestlers love him. We love him. He's the face, of course, of Reality of Wrestling here. Andrew Jackson, and he's, he's got that handy dandy clipboard. Well, we know that he said that he's going to have a major announcement about a championship match here. Let's hear what he's got oh, to say. How y'all doing in the Row Nation. It's 2024. I am so proud to stand here before you in front of a sold out audience and the all new Walker, Texas lawyer arena. It's a historical night. It's a, and it's a special night. So we're going to keep it special with a contract signing for the television championship. So first, let me bring out the challenger, Easy James. Champion Eric Lockhart. Here comes the champion. Well, we know that we are making this match official for a future date. The rematch for the television championship as the smooth champion, as you call him, Brittany, making his way down to the ring. Uh, I believe I call him the smooth criminal, but he also is the champion. Well, he's too smooth, man. He's too smooth. The reality of wrestling is Eric Lockhart. He is the champion of television. That's a big title to hold. As you can see on his shirt there, with the heart in the row is now. Well, Eric Lockhart has always believed that he has been the heart and soul here of Reality of Wrestling and now finally able to claim himself as a singles champion. He's been doing everything that he can to remain television champion by any means the necessary. Eric, excuse me, Eric Lockhart, the smoothest. Okay. 
so we have this contract for the television championship in three weeks. But you know what? You know what? This is a special, I like your style. This is a special night here in Row Nation. It's 2024. So you know what? Forget this contract. Let's do that match tonight. Wait, 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 wait what? 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 to shake it up. We're going to do it tonight and it's going to be a title oh, what? Wait, 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 what a minute. Wait, wait, what a minute. This, this is going to happen right now? In a, a table match? What? I mean, Andrew Jackson just likes to wait around. Hold up. The match is going to we have the referee out here? Right the ref oh, here. Here we go. <laughs> It's official! General Manager Andrew Jackson just made this match official. If you said it earlier, Brittany, every wrestler loves him. I don't think Eric Lockhart Lowell loves him right now. Shot to the for shot from the champion with the championship to the challenger. Well, this is impromptu, and look at that. Eric Lockhart <laughs> wants that table the hell out of here. We weren't expecting a championship match here, but now it's been made official, a tables match. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is not your traditional wrestling match. We have to get a pinfall or submission. The only way to win is to put your opponent through a table, and that is how you will claim the championship here in this match. Yes, and Eric Lockhart apparently deciding that the table needs to be out of the ring and over here, just, put it, just putting it back. Normally we see people do the reverse of this where they take it out, but Eric Lockhart being very smart, making sure that the weaponry is put away. You can't lose the match if there's no table to go through. But can you win the match, though? That's a good point right there, Brittany. You're right. Oh, right? Well, we know that he's a crafty guy. He's the smooth champion for a reason, and Eric Lockhart will definitely find oh, a way to try and get it done. But right now the match, again, is official. Here we go. TV title match impromptu. We weren't expecting this. Couple clothesline attempts there oh. from Eric Lockhart. Oh. Look at that, just a senton oh. from Izzy James. Oh, and the pain on Lockhart's face, but outside the ring. Oh. oh! Right into the kick there to Lockhart. He's just hanging up on the apron. You've got to imagine that this kind of environment favors Izzy James. Izzy James has made a career as of late of being in first time ever here for Reality of Wrestling. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time we've ever had an impromptu TV title match, let alone a tables match. I mean, you're the historian. You should know that. You should know something. As Izzy James, we're seeing him right now trying to get that table back inside the ring. Sometimes the furniture doesn't work with you, you know? You have to pivot. Sometimes it doesn't work with the room either. Izzy James now trying to set up this table in the corner. And now he's got to watch out because if Eric Locker were to rush at him right now, he could put him through that table. Yeah, but I feel like with the oh. fact of, oh, that Lockhart put the table back, he doesn't want to go through the table in any way, shape, or form. Oh, look at this here. Oh, Izzy James stops himself. Oh, now Eric Lockhart in a precarious spot. Izzy James, oh! oh. Runs right into the table instead. And there are no disqualifications, no count outs here. Everything goes. The only way to win is to put your opponent through a table. That butterfly suplex gets blocked here. Oh, look and at now, that scrambling around. They're just fighting for position, trying to get each other through the table. But Izzy James, he's got him set up for the sharpshooter, turning him over. Oh, there it is, sharpshooter. Oh. Sharpshooter's still in the ring, but it doesn't really matter because you got to put your opponent through the table. You do indeed, but Izzy James There's weakening. Eric tapping out, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah, Eric, <laughs> Izzy James trying to weaken Eric Lockhart, I guess, enough to put him through the table. And now using the ropes to try and break free here. Again, no rope breaks because there's no count outs. There's no disqualifications of any kind here. But Izzy James may have done the damage. Maybe that's what he was looking for, Brittany. And look again, speaking of damage, Izzy James. Oh! oh. What about Eric Lockhart? On the apron, and now look at this here. Just swinging wildly at Izzy James, trying to weaken him maybe just a little bit more. Izzy caught, caught in the apron there. Oh! Oh, man, look at that. 
Big knee strike from the champion. Oh, the shirt's finally coming off of Lockhart. Well, he's smooth with it. He's too smooth with it. Whatever you say, Brett. You know it's true. Is he James in a bad spot here? Is What is Eric Lockhart looking for? Oh, he's bringing out a second table. Well, now he's feeling the spirits of the match. He knows what he's going to have to do. Eric Lockhart has worked a long time to become a singles champion here at the Reality of Wrestling, and he's not going to want to lose it just in an impromptu two tables match. Got to imagine that he's feeling the pressure now. This was just sprung on him. But if there's one thing that Eric Lockhart is, and I love saying this about him because it's true, is that he is crafty. He will definitely find a way to try and win this matchup. And it'll be something that maybe we've never even seen or even thought about. Well, speaking of crafty, Izzy James is nowhere. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> like a freight train. You were saying out of nowhere. We didn't even see him even leave the side of the ring there, Brittany. He just literally did come out of nowhere. Gets the advantage here. And now Izzy James. Oh, not our table. Not our table. He's got him set up here. Look at that. Look at that. No, no. Oh, big shot there to the midsection. And now, oh, Eric Lockhart just slamming Izzy James right into the top of our table. We got to watch out that they don't break this. Eric Lockhart resetting everything in the ring as we're seeing him now set up a second table. And this just adds more pressure to not go through that table. Are they gone, guys? Can I come back? Yeah, you can come back, Bernie. Thank you for rejoining us here. I know you have a uh, phobia of folding tables. Well documented as Eric Lockhart sets the table up here in the center of the ring. Oh, big right hand from Izzy James. And no. look at that. Oh, oh, oh but up Jumped and over. over. The table. Now going underneath it. Oh, 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 oh. it. Eric Lockhart. He's got Izzy James right where he wants him. A little table gymnastics there from Eric Lockhart. Now, oh, I, think he was, I think he was thinking of power bomb here, but Izzy James also had it scouted. Got to be careful here. Oh, no. And now on the shoulders, oh. thinking Death Valley Driver, but instead, Eric Lockhart smartly flips over the table, and he lands on his feet. Misses with the clothesline. And now Eric. Oh. Just a few more inches in it. Woo. That could have ended much worse, but you've got to imagine that the pain is just that shooting up the body much of more, Izzy especially James. like future fatherhood hopes. Let alone this match. Now Eric Lockhart resetting that table in the center of the ring. You know the champion lifting up Izzy James, Brittany. Izzy in pain. What is Lockhart thinking? No. That's too far of a... Mm -mm. Right, I think he's thinking superplex as he's got Izzy set up on the top. And this is a dangerous position to be in because what would happen if both men go through the table? I, that would be something for the official oh. to rule in on. I'm not sure how that looks in the row history books. But there, here comes some classic Eric oh. Lockhart. Smoothly gets out of the ring here. As now the champion oh, from no. up top is Izzy James in a bad oh. spot. Oh. oh, Eric stops himself. Oh, oh. oh. off the ropes. And Eric Lockhart is laying there. He's laying on the table. Izzy James is feeling it in front of a sold out Walker, Texas Lawyer Arena. He goes on top and he's oh. the champion. champion. We have a new champion. We have a new champion. <laughs> that has been trying to claim singles gold for over two years can finally say that he's done it. From being the longest reigning tag team champion in row history to now being able to call himself the next television champion. And who knows, he may become the longest television champion. We have so much to see from Izzy James here. Well, an impromptu, a contract signing that turns into an impromptu table match. The tweets a new.
Reality of Wrestling Television Champion in Izzy James. Only here at the row will you see things like this. And you know what, y'all? We still have more action here tonight as we're going to be seeing Will Alday in action in our main event. And that is coming up next. Carolina Teague, the Mike Slayer, and I am here at Walker, Texas Lawyer Arena. Joined with me is the interim Diamonds champion, Mia Friday. Mia, you have a huge opportunity next week against NXT's Roxanne Perez. How have you been preparing for the biggest match of your career? Carolina, I knew when I called out Roxanne Perez that this was going to be the biggest match of my career. But this match is everything that I've been working for since I was 13 years old. I am walking into this match fully prepared. This is everything that I've been working for. This is the reason why I am the Weekend Wonder Child, the reason why I am the Friday Night Light, the reason why I am Miss TGIF. And Carolina, you shouldn't be asking me if I'm prepared. You should be asking Roxanne if she's prepared. Mr. Jackson. You saw what happened out there. Now, if Dex is in the Rumble, I want to be in the Rumble. You want in? You really want in? Yeah, you got it. And here we go. There is the ringleader of the Heat, Booker T. And there they are. Gaspar Hernandez, both former champions here at Reality Wrestling, ready for a massive main event with incredible implications. Remember, if beat Will All Day and his mystery partner, Will All Day will have to defend the Reality Wrestling Championship against both of these men in a triple threat. They all know that Will All Day, as great as he is, has not made too many friends. Oh, look at that. Come on, Booker. Booker T just tearing the sign. From a fan here in the crowd. It tells you what power really does. They say absolute power corrupts absolutely. And that's what we're seeing here at the Walker Texas Warrior Arena. Darbell no longer in power. Booker T scary not to say it. Wow. 
Marcellus Black. Mason D. Madden makes quite the career for himself in the WWE. Performing on Raw, SmackDown, NXT. And now he's going to bring his athletic talent here back to the reality of wrestling. Looking real jack, baby. Six foot seven. 300 pounds of bumping, stomping, brain digging destruction. The borrow of break. Mason D. Matt. We're all day in this massive main event with huge implications. Do your damn job. Do your job. Early, early arguments going on here between Booker T and the official. No shock there. As now this tag team match is about to get underway. There's Matty Ice and Will All Day. Look like they're going to start it out. We saw them recently battle for that Reality of Wrestling Championship, which is now around the waist of Will All Day, still suffering injuries from that contest, which was no holds barred. You see the tape around the uh, around the ribs and on the back of Will All Day. Right, and the Iceman, Will All Day, calling an elbow tie up here in the center. Will All Day trying to get control of the wrist, and he does. Matty Ice, oh, able to get that knee up. Headlock takeover. Going to work on Will All Day. Will All Day counters, nice reversal. Both men back up to a vertical base, but Matty Ice with a big boot. The Iceman not playing, but there's a drop kick for his top. Both these men are champions. There's no doubt about the pedigree that they have. As we approach the last stand rumble, who is going to be challenging Will All Day for that championship at the prestigious event? A tag to Gaspar Hernandez. Speaking of the last stand rumble, Matty Ice and Will All Day are the last two winners of that event. Matty Ice won last year in 2023, Will All Day. The year prior in 2022 as Gaspar, the big man in the heat. Outfoxed a little there by Will All Day. Will All Day. Has been a banner champion for us here in reality of wrestling. As we said, has the most consecutive appearances in the last Stan Rumble with eliminations, winning it in 2022. Also, Will All Day hold the longest cumulative time behind Aiden Cristiano in the last Stan Rumble. Matty Ice holds the record for the longest time ever in a single last Stan Rumble at 43 minutes and 30 seconds. You want to tag me in? You want to tag me in? Look at that. Look at the power. Look at the power of Gaspar. You know what it looked like as of late? Gaspar Hernandez and Booker T had some disagreements especially here in the last few weeks, but back on track as Mason D. Madden is begging for a tag for the road champ. And here it is, for the first time in nearly a decade, Mason D. Madden back in a reality of wrestling ring. These two big behemoths lock up in the center. Now the man giving an inch. Let's go, Look at that. Oh, 
Ahmed showing off. And there, is he going to get... No. Nice, nice reversal there. Gaspar lost his way in a big shoulder block. Oh, look at that. Elbow drop cover here. One. And a kick out after one. Strategy session from the Heat. Tag to the Iceman. Back at it. Will all day. Matty Ice. A couple of beautiful arm drags. And just goes out to the outside. Matty Ice frustration aplenty on the face of the former champ. Head full of steam. And just goes out the other side. The pressure is on Booker T trying to calm his star down because we know what this match means. We know a reality of wrestling championship opportunity is on the line for both members of the Heat. And if you do the math, there's a 66% chance the Heat would walk out with a title. There's Matty Ice right down in front of us. Right down in front of us. As they work to fix your mic there, Kirby. Oh, look at that. A shot to the back. The back, the lower back that was injured in that match with Matty Ice. Booker T pleading his case to the official. Gaspar Hernandez saying, put your attention back in the ring. The Iceman, the Iceman inside cradle, cover one. Two, come on, where's the referee? Referee distracted by Gaspar. And there is reversal one, two. Mason D. Madden almost helped pull one over on the heat. Looking for a tag. And the former offensive tackle from the NFL is showing those skills. Full head of steam to Matty Ice. Snapmare there. And oh, man, Booker T pulling the boots of the former Houston Texans. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Referee about to make a decision. He's about to make a decision. He has just kicked Booker T out of the main event here at the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena. A shocking scene on display in front of a sold out crowd. Tension back in the ring. Uppercut thrust. For Mason D. Madden. Will all day. Some classic Will. Matty Ice had it scouted but wasn't ready for the sequel. Cover. One, two, and a kick out. Will all day, a passionate performer. You can never say that he's not. One of the great athletes. When we talk about a Football background, former wide receiver for the universe, Rice University here. Former Rice out as well all day. Getting caught up there on the top rope. And that could be all. Can Matty Ice capitalize? Slow to cover. Cover here. One, two, and a kick out at two and a half. The heart of a champion knows no defeat. True words cannot be spoken of Will All Day, someone who will never give up. As Will is now in a desperate situation, though, where he needs to not allow his pride to take over. He needs to find a way to get to the corner over there and get a tag to Mason D. Madden. Gaspar, smelling blood in the water, goes for the cover. One, two. And Gaspar Hernandez, no dice. And the Heat, no, they have the ring cut in half. 
as Matty Ice taunts the returning Mason D. Madden. Stiff right hand. Shots fired in return from the two rivals who have gone against one another for the last several months here at Reality of Wrestling. Matty Ice oh, still feels he lost his championship without having adequate time to prepare. Will all day again. needs to find a way to get to his corner and get a tag to Mason D. Madden. As the frequent tag still coming in from the corner of the heat, Sam's Booker T. Booker T kicked out of this contest. This is your main event. We want to thank you if you are watching. Look at the taunt. Look at the taunt there. Going for the autograph. Oh my gosh! Matty Ice got 110% of the autograph. Although, he signed his name on the chin of Gaspar Hernandez. Oh! Will All Day, this is his moment. This is his opportunity. Mason D. Madden feels it. The sold out house of the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena feels it, but Gaspar Hernandez. Gaspar Hernandez pulling down Mason D. Madden, not allowing the tag to get in the heat continue their treacherous ways in this tag team encounter. Again, we want to thank you if you are watching us on our YouTube channel, which is nearing 750,000 subscribers, or if you're watching us on CW39 here in Houston or one of our many television affiliates around the nation, we truly appreciate you tuning in to the front row of sports and entertainment and professional wrestling. The Iceman is down. Ken will get to the corner. And Gaspar again. Do it to me. Do it to me, Do it to me. Uh, 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 Stepping on the fingers and the hands of Will all day. Mason D. Madden trying. Again, there's no Will all day. How does he do it? How does Will all day do it, damn it? Way to pull a moonsault out of nowhere. And a tag. And a tag. It's the Iceman. It's Mason D. Madden breaking through both members of the heat and a double shoulder block. Oh, sidekick. Oh, Nico, Nico, knee. Bam. And a house on fire. The former NFL offensive tackle just showed why he was the top of his draft class. Cover. One. Two. He's been battling out in front of us. Battling right in front of us, Kirby. The Iceman, Gaspar, tackling Mason D. Madden and just putting the boots to him, beating him down right here. Referee trying to get control of this contest. What's going on here? No, 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 no. Oh, my. Oh.
give my silence. There is an autograph. Cover. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. What a conclusion to this contest. I did not expect to be on the receiving end of a tackle there. Thankfully, I was able to recover as well was the team of Will all damn day, the reality wrestling champion. Mason D. Hatt. Mason victorious in his return to the reality of wrestling. As we approach the last stand rumble, coming up in just a few short weeks, who will face Will all day for the reality wrestling championship? here at the Walker Texas Lawyer Arena. An incredible main event as only the reality of wrestling can produce. We want to thank our executive producer, Booker Charmel Huffman, our director, Kevin Bronhart, for my broadcast colleague, Kirby Carrion, for the Vampire Kid. My name is the Boat Grand Gilbert. 